Shalom, all praise, honor, and glory goes to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and peace and salutation unto the hopeful elect of Yasha Allah. Peace, salutation, and deliverance. So, uh, roughly a year ago, October, uh, to be specific, um, brothers across GMS were posting um, GMS disclaimers. And we know that Esau is going to come in as a flood to uh, to persecute the saints of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. But um, I implore all Akim to post several um, posts of this video on your channel. Um, I've actually posted two versions um, on my channel. But I guess my point is this. Regardless of if, you know, we post this on our channels, you know, Esau is a madman. And he's going to um, seek out any way in which he can to uh, stop this word. And through the spirit, you know, we, we've already overcome. So, you know, really, this is just more of a um, an emphasis uh, just to kind of bulletproof ourselves, you know, through the spirit. So I'm going to um, get into a couple of verses. This is Second Corinthians chapter 10, verse three. It says, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. And really, that's what Esau is trying to do. He's trying to conjure a uh, a fictitious um, straw man to where um, he can apply that to the hopeful elect of Great Millstone. And really just the hopeful elect specifically, but we know that ultimately the, the rest of these um, Israelite camps are carnal and they war after the flesh. Whereas the scripture clearly tells us that we do not war after the flesh. Verse four, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through Yahweh to the pulling down of strongholds. And ultimately that stronghold is Esau and his wicked agenda of, uh, of global dominance through lies. So, you know, ultimately that's, that's what we're doing by putting those disclaimers out. It's just, uh, you know, bulletproofing ourselves as far as our pages are concerned. And of course, as I said, that that doesn't mean that Esau is still not going to attack our pages, still not going to come up with false allegations. But um, yeah, I know this measure was taken last year. And so if anything, what we're doing is we're building a, a counter case against Esau by um, by posting these videos. OK. So this is uh, Ephesians 6 and 10. It says, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. You know, that's that's where our power lies. Esau has to attack the flesh. We must deny the flesh. You know, because really that's that's where. He be he believes the war is. But we have power over the flesh. To where we we are using the spirit of Yahweh by Yahweh and that power to overcome these demons, specifically Esau. Verse 11, put on the whole armor of Yahweh that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. And that's what I mean by when I say bulletproof in ourselves, you know, that armor, this knowledge, wisdom and understanding really uh, protects our flesh, you know, to where, you know, those wiles of the devil are not able to penetrate. Um, let me see here. Verse 12, for we 
for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And that's Esau. You know, we know he's he's watching all brothers videos. You know, he's taking catalog. He's made movies. He's he's uh, creating false narratives. He's doing uh, psychological operations. You know, all of this to accuse the prophets of the Lord because, um, you know, his time is up, you know, through the spirit that, um, you know, he, he knew that he was going to have. But, you know, a short time. And he's going to, you know, claw and scratch and kick and whine. And, you know, I mean, that's that's what he is. Ultimately, you know, he's a, he's a big baby that uh, is spoiled. And ultimately, you know, how about Shema is removing him and, you know, the power in which he had. So um, that's what we are wrestling against. We're wrestling against, you know, uh, against spiritual wickedness, you know. Um, in high places because they actually have power, you know, um, going back to Job nine and 24 scripture says the earth was given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. OK, and this is another way of of him trying to cover the faces of the judges because uh, Christianity in itself is uh, is losing. You know, all these other religions are losing. And, you know, ultimately the prophets of Yahweh by Shemi Al-Shai. Um, are going to win, you know? So, um, verse 13, wherefore take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. So really that's, like I said, that's what the, the, the bulletproofing is, you know, your brothers can go back and you read, you know, verse 14 on down. It talks about, you know, being equipped, you know, essentially from head to toe, because we're in a spiritual warfare, you know, straight up. And, um, you know, Esau is going to be carnal and, and we're going to be spiritual. That's just all it is to it. But, you know, like I said, these videos, you know, Lord willing, will will hopefully help, you know, as far as, you know, brothers, just like I said, in, in so many ways, protecting your, your, your channel and your page. Now, I want to read one more thing and then I'm going to wrap up. So this is uh, from uh, Wikipedia and um it goes into bulletproofing yourself. And I just thought that this was a uh, a good footnote. I'm going to start. I'm going to start right here. It says, but Goodfellow was fascinated to find in the folds of the Chinese silk uh, neckerchief around ground's neck, two shotgun pellets, but no holes and no wounds. He described a wound to Curly Bill Bro Brocius, Brocius, who had been shot through the right side of the neck, narrowly missing his carotid or carotid artery. A portion of his silk neckerchief was carried into the wound by the bullet. Preventing a more serious injury, but the scarf was undamaged. The tombstone epithet reported a silken armor may be the next invention. So essentially, this guy got shot in the neck, but he had a, uh, a neckerchief that was made out of silk. Just going to show you the power of a, a substance such as silk. Then Now, this is Chinese silk, you know, going back in the day. But once again, you know, he was bulletproofing himself. I'm not sure if he knew that that silk would, you know, protect a bullet or a buckshot, but it did, you know. And so really, that's all we're doing. We're just bulletproofing ourselves, putting on that whole armor of your high body. Shimei was shot to where none of these wiles of the devil will be able to penetrate. Last part. Goodfellow wrote an article for the Southern California practitioner titled Notes on the Impenetrable and Impenetrable of silk to bullets he experimented with designs for bullet resistant clothing made of multiple layers of silk by 1900 gangsters were wearing were wearing $800 silk vest to protect themselves so I just thought that that was pretty cool you know through the spirit you know because something you know as, as simple as silk um, really 
you know, something so fine as far as the, the, the way it feels, but the way silk is woven, you know, really can stop, uh, you know, as I said, you know, bullets, it could stop, you know, things from penetrating. And, and really, you know, that's what the Holy Spirit of Yahweh by Shem is. It's very delicate. It's very fine. But the, the layers of the Holy Spirit uh, will prevent, you know, any wiles of the devil, you know. And uh, as long as we don't war after the flesh, you know, Yahweh by Shem will protect us. And so that's all I got. Lord willing, you brothers are doing well. Once again, call halal, how by Shimmy, how shy by Shim, how Rakako Dash, and um, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation unto the elect. Shalom.